Hi guys, and welcome back to the Brogue Let's Play. I think I missed an episode yesterday. If so, I'm sorry, but I I was busy and ran out of sort of energy to do anything. I don't know if you can hear that in the background. It's kind of hot today, so I left my air conditioning on. Normally I would turn it off to record, but it's too hot, so that's not happening this time. Hopefully it doesn't pick up on the mic too badly, but no guarantees. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not even sure if I was supposed to upload yesterday or not. I just didn't get to it. And I'm really bad at keeping my schedule, like keeping track of it. Fucking mouse is in the way again, sorry. So, I lose track of my schedule a lot, and if you follow me on Twitter, you already know that. Because I literally have to ask, like, every couple days for somebody to tell me if I'm meant to upload that day or not. So, that's why my schedule keeps getting screwed up. Oh, there's, um, stairs there. Okay. Well, I kind of want to finish off this floor, because it looks like there's some potions over there that I haven't gotten yet. And... I don't know, that might be it, but still. Potions. Potions are a pretty good thing to have. Plus, you all seem to like my experimenting with them. Oops. Did not mean to jump in the water another potion up here, so yeah, it was worth it. Three potions out of the deal. It's pretty good. Seems like the end of the floor, though. So I'm gonna go all the way over there. Uh, not really care about a jackal, unless he follows me. I should not test potions on the grass, so let's start with the scrolls. Recharging. Aggravate monster, of course. Identify. I'll identify the. Hmm. I'll identify one of the potions. Potion confusion. Okay. Well, happy to drink that one. Magic mapping. Enchantment. I'll enchant my dagger again. Oh, dagger is B. I was hitting A. And protect armor. Cool. So my armor is acid proof. And potion of strength. Good. I'll deal with some of the monsters that that scroll pissed off. And then I'll go back to testing. to aim at the monkey. Ooh, I want to get away from the gas, too. Where's the monkey now? Monkey. Come on, monkey. Seems to be everybody on that side. I'll let the gas dissipate before I go collect my stuff. Okay. Ah, oh, monkeys are getting kind of annoying. So I would like to be near water in case I drink an incendiary potion, actually. So I think I'm going to start testing again when I get over to, the, to that uh, pool to our right. Yeah, right. Uh, 
Uh, another scroll for charging. It's good to have if we find a staff. Or a wand. Especially a wand, because I don't think those recharge over time like the staff like the stick. Is it staves or staves? I can't remember. Maybe it depends on where you are. Okay. So odds are good that at least one of these will light me on fire. Speed. Hole. Okay, well, I'm still in the water. So I'll try this one. Levitation. Okay, so none of them lit me on fire. That's surprising. Do I have enough levitation to get across here? I do. What does this one do? That one is fire. Um. Okay. That didn't work out as planned. But I know what the incendiary potion looks like now. And I died. Wow. Okay, next character. <sighs> that was really bad. I shouldn't have tested the potion. I was hoping it would be a potion of life, actually. But it was kind of the opposite. Okay, teleportation. No. Okay. Some treasure around here. Ooh, a wand. I like wands. I don't know. The thing I really do like about roguelikes where you don't get a class system like this is I like being able to use wands and stuff as this surrogate for magic. I don't know if you can hear my hamsters in the background. They're kind of loud. Yeah, I like that I can... Okay, it's a domination. But I like having the wands instead of an actual spell system. It keeps things simpler, but it gives you a lot of the same sort of effects. Uh, same goes for potions, really. But, I don't know. It feels like in roguelikes with magic systems, I feel like it it gets easier late game if you have magic. Where in a roguelike where your magic is based entirely on things that you find, you can never really guarantee that you're going to have the useful spell effects when you need them. It's only like crawl. By the time you get to floor five, you can pretty much guarantee that you're going to have a couple decent spells just by picking a class that learns them naturally. Or that starts off with a book that has them. Oh, a staff too. Whereas here, I never know if I'm gonna drink a potion that bursts me into flames. And if I find out that a potion is incendiary, I can use it as a really powerful weapon, but I have no guarantee that I'm ever going to find one. Although with my luck I usually find one and drink it, but you know, there's no guarantee that I'm going to find one. And there's even less of a guarantee that I'll be able to use it as a weapon instead of use it as a way to kill myself. Another wand. So, I do rather like that. Scroll of teleportation, that's actually pretty handy. Let's test out this wand. Okay, I teleported the rat, apparently. No, I invisibilized it, probably. Uh, my monkeys seem to have found something. Or they seem to have been found by something, rather, but... Yeah, my monkey's getting its ass beat by a rat. I think. Oh, no, my monkey survived. So, the monkey killed the rat. That's good. And that was one of those turn enemies invisible wands, I guess. Okay, tunneling. That's actually pretty handy. 
I don't think I dug anything out with that, but it is a useful thing to have. Can get, yeah, some odd situations actually. Or into them, depending on where you use it, I suppose. I don't think there would be anything up there unless I can access it from this side. I think I've said this before, but normally Brogue doesn't put you in situations where you can't actually walk to the area. There are a couple weird exceptions, but... Oh, there's a hole there. Wonderful. There are a couple weird exception exceptions, but normally Brogue just doesn't do that to you. Warpike. It's not bad. What do I have on me? Um, a few decent things. I'm gonna test out some of this stuff. Okay, shatter the walls. Enhancement, or enchantment rather. Hmm. I kind of want to enchant the Staff of Tunneling, but I think it would be better to get a better weapon for right now. Uh, strength. Life. Okay. That's the stairway down. Which is not the direction I want to be going right now, because there's still stuff upstairs. And my monkeys are being slimed. I am being slimed. I'm getting the fuck out of here. <sighs> Aquamarine potion. And health. Good. Okay. I can probably hit you with a dart, can't I? Yeah. Okay, that one's taken care of at least. There were a bunch of them now. Hopefully they just all kind of wandered off. More magic mapping. I'll save that for a new floor. Really don't like gels. I think we paranoid. So where was I? I think I was down here somewhere. No, I was over here. I fell down that hole. Yeah, I guess I'm not gonna be auto walking it. Never mind. So was that a trap that I fell into, or? Did I just happen to step into a hole and not notice it? Okay, this is clearly starting to seem like it's a trapped room. So, I should probably see if I can find a potion of levitation before I finish that. Which means I need to test some of these potions I already have. More jackals. I don't really understand why jackals became a staple enemy in roguelikes. Okay, I have a staff on M. Let's try you out. Discordant. Okay. So I think that makes enemies attack their allies. Can I dominate the monkey? No. Can I... hmm. And eh, never mind. If he's not coming after me, I don't really care that much. I'm going to try to walk back here. I don't really care about monkeys and kobolds and such. And now I keep seeing it. I don't care. Okay. The... no. Wrong way. The eel I don't want to deal with. 
They're actually pretty tough for enemies that you can find this early on. Get the mouse out of the way. Uh, hallucination and murder. Oh, don't dive into the depths. Depths. I can words. And another hole. You know what? I'm starting to think this isn't worth it. <laughs> Just a thought. Okay, well... I didn't get a thing of levitation. I'm obviously not going to be able to walk to that thing without killing myself by falling through the same holes over and over. So it's not even really worth it. I don't know what I'm fighting. That seems like it's a... Yeah, that was a goblin conjurer, I'm pretty sure. Um, how long have I been recording? Not sure. I even set a timer this time, I'm still not sure. Some gold, it's not really that good. Going right into the hallway. Did my hallucination get reset? What do I have on me? Domination, discord, so nothing particularly useful. These are clearly gels. Okay. Was there a Healy plant? Yes, there was. Good. I'm gonna go visit that. And maybe stop hallucinating. Eat. Keep forgetting eat is apply in this game. Because I've been playing um, rogue and crawl a lot on my own time when I'm not recording. So I keep getting the controls backwards. Found some food, that's good. Do I have anything interesting to test? I have a jade ring. Let's find out what it does eventually, maybe. I should have used that scroll of mapping, but I kind of forgot to. Spirit, do I have the strength for that? Sorta? Not really worth it. Okay, so my wand should be recharged, right? Oops, so. Seems like it only has one charge though, which is pretty underwhelming. Oh, he didn't see me. Good. I was kind of worried about that actually. I don't know. Those goblin conjurers can be kind of annoying. Is there a charm over there that I want? But yeah, just because they can surround you and it can be hard to actually get a hit on them without dealing with all of their minions first and they like to run away so it's just really a pain in the ass to fight them oh it's not a charm it's a potion oh it's still handy i'm gonna test that out here near the healy plant actually speed okay I want to be near the Healy plant in case I lit myself on fire because I'm prone to doing so. It seems to be a recurring theme in this LP actually. Me lighting myself on fire and dying to poisonous gas. Acid mound, I don't want anything to do with you right now. And same with that kobold. I just really don't want to fight it. That's another thing that I like about this compared to a lot of roguelikes is 
you're not really rewarded for killing monsters all the time. Like, there's no real penalty for running away from a monster if it's not in the way. Which I really enjoy. Because one of the things I like about roguelikes is that you do have the option to just not fight things. But in a lot of games, if you use that, then you end up really weak late on. And you can't fight anything when you do need to. Which I think is probably a design flaw. Like, I would consider it a design flaw at least. Because they give you a lot of enemies that you have no choice but to run away from. Like, dragons are kind of the classic example of that. Because in pretty much every roguelike, like, dragons are nearly impossible to beat. Except in, like, Angband, I think. But Angband is, and its variants are kind of odd in that your character ends up extremely powerful by the end of it. And most roguelikes, especially hack likes, you just don't have that. You end up you know, a bit stronger, but not absurdly strong. I had a feeling there was a uh, secret there. Try that out. Identify. So, okay, identify either the potion or maybe the ring or the spear. Huh. I'll identify the ring actually. Plus three of regeneration. Okay, I'm happy I did that. Regeneration rings are a good thing to have. 15 jab. Good. Wait, no, that's seven javelins with fifteen something? What? I have no idea. I'm not actually sure what this number is. I think it might be like the strength that you need or something, maybe? I don't know. I'm just guessing. Whatever. Seven javelins. Gold. It's not so down. Where are the stairs down? Oh, the stairs down will actually... Please don't see me. Damn it. Well, at least I can regenerate my health a bit. Oh, okay. Couldn't find myself for a second there. That's a problem. Well, it's kind of a problem. Uh, Mystic. Yeah, I'll discord the Mystic. And start fighting them here, I guess. Um. Huh. This is a deaf one. Try the potion, but I've already uncovered potions of life before, so the odds of it actually helping me right now are pretty slim. The wand of domination could actually be pretty handy though. Or not. I don't have a teleport. So. I think I might be just dead if I can't escape them. Chanting, enchanting, shit. Well, I could enchant my ring, enchant my ring. Okay, um, hmm. 
Jelly plant. Okay. Sorry I got quiet there. I was trying to figure out how the fuck I was going to get out of that. Ooh. That was a bit closer than I would have liked. was a lot closer than I would have liked, to be honest. Uh, fuck. How did I not die? That was really close. That was way too close. That ring of regeneration saved my ass. I'm happy I identified it. Because if I hadn't, it would have just been like a plus one ring of generic uselessness. <sighs> really gotta stop cutting those close, though. It's not good for me. Okay, I think I've been recording for 20 minutes now. Not sure, I'm gonna assume so. Uh, pressure plate. Gas. Out, 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 out. Oh, there's a turret there. Okay, well. We should have food, right? Yeah, on H. Good. So is there anything here, or is it just a pressure plate? It's just a pressure plate, and that torch looks like it's meant to be a trap of some sort. It's on, like, dry grass. Uh, I should test that potion before I fuck around with the bats, actually. Alright, I should test that potion without being... I'm going to test the scroll first. Anti-magic. Okay, that's not particularly useful because I think that turns off my ring. Of dominance needs to be recharged. Discord that. Okay, that was a waste. Discord you. You're asleep. You're still asleep, so I'm going to get the fuck away from you. Um, hmm, well, I'm gonna test it, no, okay, so if I wait up here for a bit, my health should come back until that happens. And I'm dead. <sighs> well, we got to level 6. It's not so bad. That's all for today, folks. See you next time.